Any one of us can take a bad turn with our health, including kids, and for them, a long stay in the hospital can be difficult physically, mentally, and emotionally. That's where our latest Inspiring 815 recipient steps in to help make what can be a dark time a little bit brighter. Hospitals are meant to be safe havens, where we go when we need to heal. But an extended stay within these walls can be challenging, particularly for the youngest patients. That's where Stacy Zell Weevil gets involved. Our biggest goal is to help reduce the stress of hospitalization for patients and their families. Stacy, in her words, sort of stumbled into the role of child life coordinator while walking toward a career in education. However, it doesn't sound like an accident when you hear how Stacy spent her childhood. I grew up with a girl that had muscular dystrophy and um, went to uh, muscular dystrophy camps with her and just really um, found that that was really wonderful work in helping kids to be able to be kids even when sometimes there might be barriers. For more than 25 years, Stacy has helped kids over those barriers, both at Swedish American and Mercy Health. The latter is where she met Donna Ann Tritton and cared for her family while their young son was in the hospital before he died. She made sure Maddie, um, which is our daughter, who was eight at the time, had things to do while she was in the waiting room. And she talked with her about grief and talked with her about, um, you know, the things that were going on with our son. So caring and so compassionate. As Stacy will tell you, kids can go down some hard roads in the hospital, and she's seen a lot in 25 years. But it's pictures like these that remind her how important her job is. When you do see, you know, um, painting pumpkins and decorating rocks and being out in our healing garden blowing bubbles, that is what fuels you to, you know, continue that work because it gets you through those harder days. Stacy Zell Weevil, inspiring 815, fueled by a burning drive to keep kids shining and smiling through what can be a dark and difficult journey. Reporting in Rockford, I'm Evan Leak for 13 News. As always, we need your help honoring and recognizing people in an area who impact lives through civility. You can fill out a nomination form on our Inspiring 815 page at WREX.com or send us an email at inspiring815 at WREX.com.